thanks for coming so quickly. Just in case, I brought Anton, Ben, and Grace with me. Nice. Hey, everyone. If we want to find the three missing kids, we need as many eyes as we can get. I've located the areas of the hollow with biosignals. We'll need to split up and check each of them in turn. Right. That'll be much faster. Then I'll go with the proxy. Be careful, everyone. Let's split. Let's get going too, Proxy! This key might work. a biosignal up ahead. It could be. Unfortunately, it isn't our rescue target, but one of the bandits you ran into previously. Given his unstable vital signs, I have ruled out the possibility of another ambush. But there's an emergency call from Anton. Connecting the call now. There's a kid here, but a bunch of ethereals have spotted us. I have marked the nearest route for you, Master. Let's find a way to get over there, Bell. Perfect timing. Now we can deal with the obstacles up ahead. Zeb Ben! Ah, he's surrounded by Ethereals! Switch 
with me, Sweet Pea. I'll help! Speak with me, Sweet Pea. Please allow me. <laughs> Come in. Demolition. <laughs> Please allow me to help, President. I've got to protect this child. I'll leave the fighting to you guys. Got to get hit. Please, now, you're looking to me. Thank you for saving me, but why are you here? Hey, I should be the one asking you that. A little brat kid like you shouldn't be going into hollows, especially without a guardian. It's dangerous. Sorry, but my guardian is in here. I came to finally figure out what he's doing. Wait, your guardian's here? Where? You really haven't figured it out? The principal you've been after is my father. <laughs> you couldn't even manage to figure that out. Even after wearing that uniform with your pineapple bun, trying to pretend to be a kid with your silly high-pitched voice, grown-ups are so stupid. Is that right? Well, now that I look at you, you do look pretty similar to that jerk. Shut up! I'm nothing like him! I take after mom. Sorry, I never realized. Um, I'm... I'm not so good at figuring out father-daughter stuff. So, when the principal said he had his ways of knowing, he was talking about you, wasn't he? You probably noticed we look weird and told the principal! So, why would you follow him in here? Didn't I tell you already? Just like you, I want to know what he's doing in this hollow, too. After the hollow appeared near the school, Dad started coming home with this weird dust on his clothes. I thought it was super sus. My dad cares a lot about being clean and tidy, so why would he wear dirty clothes all the time? And then, he started getting into arguments with Mom. I didn't know why. Mom left. Dad got a new car to take me to school in. It was really big and nice, but I was scared. I was scared this money we were using was dirty. Like, covered in that gross dust. The kind of dirty you can't ever wash out, no matter how hard you try. 
you said your dad wanted to transfer you to a new school. Yep, because I'm really smart. He probably wants to send me off to some expensive private middle school. Or maybe he knows just how dangerous mining in the hollow could be and was afraid something would happen to you. In the end, he's still your father, so I think maybe he wants to protect you. Hmm. Maybe. That bastard. That principal might just be a decent father after all. He's not getting paid to be a father. He's getting paid to be a principal who should be responsible for the students and teachers of the school. He's the one who caused this disaster with the hollow. He colluded with those... those thugs, and now these three kids are lost in here? Wait, there are other kids lost in here besides me? Oh no, I hope it's not... Ugh, Dan and Leisha, those idiots! I told them I'd go on this adventure alone! You three often adventure into the hollow? And no one, like, does anything about that? Ugh, stupid. It's all my fault. They came because they were worried about me. I need to find them. It's my responsibility. Coleta, can you help me? Yeah, leave it to me. Once we find them, I'll have someone get them out safe. Hmm. What? You're... A lot nicer than I thought. After I said all those things about you, I thought you'd at least, you know, say something. Right now, our priority is to save them. I don't have time to get upset with kids. That's how cool grown-ups are. You get it? You should try to be like me when you're grown up. No way. You look stupid. Excuse me? I agreed to use the lyrics as our secret code. I'm not afraid of the dark sea, though just a fish I may be. The sailboat is my best friend, taking me to the water park's end. The fish refers to Dan, and the sailboat represents Leisha. You found something here? Come to think of it, I think I've seen it somewhere. Wow, I didn't notice anything at all. I'll leave it to you then. Having compiled all investigation records, we've located two areas. Which one would you like to investigate first, Bell? Good luck with the search. I'll keep an eye on the kids. President, I spotted some graffiti in the shape of a fish. Any ideas on how we can get there, Proxy? Master, there's some graffiti on this signboard, but it's a mess. I speculate it's indicating a certain direction. Oh, I think it wants us to go to the right. Master, I have located a teleporter to the graffiti zone up ahead. I have detected a trapped victim and a large number of ethereals up ahead. Target verified. Dan, please prepare for combat to rescue the target. Switch with me, sweetie. It's a bruise attack! Bad, let me deal with it! Leisha! Woohoo! More ethereals are coming. <laughs> We've got to distract them! Yep. 
Well done. We found one of the kits. Sufficient gear coins paid. Authentication successful. Opening valve. Master, this is one of the children we're looking for. I suggest we take the child to a safe place first, before exploring the area. I'll take care of the kids. I'll bring them out in no time. Weird graffiti. Pretty obvious, isn't it? It does look like a boat. Mm, let's figure out how to get past it first. Warning, you are about to run into a wandering group of ethereals. I recommend you prepare before entering into combat. Warning, you are about to run into a wandering group of ethereals. I recommend you prepare before entering into combat. Direction's blocked. Let's try another way. The graffiti's pointing to the left.
Master, I have located a teleporter to the graffiti zone up ahead. Your laughter has attracted the attention of a group of ethereals. I recommend you prepare before entering into combat. Master, a huge ethereal has been awakened. <laughs> it's coming! It's headed our way! Master, a group of dangerous ethereals is now tracking you. I suggest you prepare before fighting them. Switch with me, Super. I'll take it! One of the children we're looking for. I suggest we take the child to a safe place first before exploring the area. Can help too. 
using our intel. Well, any luck? Lead the way, Proxy! Stop wasting time! Grab everything you can! Oh, you can't get away now, you jerk principal! Oi, Principal! What's with that face, huh? The scout's back, so the carrot's still good. Though, he did say he almost ran straight into a mess of ethereal. Now, there were only small fries here before, nothing big. Looks like ether activity really is skyrocketing. This mine's getting dangerous. Look, if you want us to keep going, you'll need to up the compensation. Hey! You listening to me? Huh? Oh. And the moment I say compensation, you start zoning out. Damn cheap-ass bosses. No, 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 it's just a... I think I heard my Emmy's voice just now if she... If she got caught up in the hollow. Starting to regret everything now? Who? Oh, the Bellabog brat. Don't you have more important business to tend to? I don't remember hiring you as a secretary, and yet... You're so interested in my schedule. In that case, let me tell you about your upcoming schedule. Now, the hollow has expanded, and it's affecting innocence. The reason for the expansion is your illegal mining of ether resources. And the association will easily figure it out and get you if they look into it. Mr. Principal, are you still trying to shift the blame to someone else? Shift the blame? I don't know what you're talking about. The association can look into my bank records if they wish. They'll find I've had no financial dealings with this gentleman here. Hmm. If the association did come after us, I got a couple of guys who might end up in trouble. But I'm sure they'll be on their best behavior in the slammer. They'll probably get out in a couple months, stops. And let's say what if, just what if, before all this came to a head. A lovely young lady just so happened to receive a significant payment to their account. And they weren't my wife, at least not now. Oh, of course I'll repent as well for not realizing there was such a serious danger in an area so near the school. You think no one can bring you to justice? Uh-uh-uh, violence won't do, young Kaleida. That's the first lesson a person learns in elementary school. I'm middle-aged now. My life all spent on educating the young. I might be like this now, but I won my fair share of awards when I was young. Back then, I had an overactive sense of justice as well. But oh, how things change. I've always been a law-abiding man. No one needs to bring me to justice. Just think, a docile little hollow appears in an otherwise empty area under your supervision and you just need to keep one eye shut for the Denny's to come rolling in. I simply did what any grown-up would do. 
If you placed this choice in front of a thousand people, a thousand would do as I did. No one I know would, because it's wrong. That sounds like something a little kid would say. So even children know it's wrong, but grown-ups don't? Emmy, what? why are you here? I wanted to ask you something, Dad, but I don't need more. Emmy, listen now, you, you've got to behave. You're still young, you don't understand. This isn't what it looks like. you do this when you knew it could put me and my friends in danger uh, you see nothing is you can't we have to view these things in separation that ethereal it's massive <laughs> looks like it saved you from an awkward situation who knows Maybe he'll even become good pals. What are you roaring about? Come on, you think just because you're big, you don't have to pay attention to what others are saying? Damn! Got a bit of Hurry up! Before they get to the school! Hey, who's the principal here? They just ran off on their own. <sighs> Couldn't expect much better from a bunch of thugs. <laughs> they need to respect their elders more. After everything, you, President Kaleida, protected someone like me. I'm so touched that I've decided to rethink my actions and become a better person. Oh, whatever. Did you really think that's what I was going to say? Yeah, no. Don't think I've forgotten what you've done. If you hadn't dragged my daughter into this, she wouldn't be in any danger. The president of Bellabog Industries fakes her identity to lure a young girl into a hollow. What would your company do if they saw that headline, huh? Well, right now, Anton is responsible for PR. He'd probably tear up all the newspapers right then and there. Let's go home, Emmy. It's dangerous here. Daddy will explain when we get home. You see, the world of adults isn't all black or white. It's... Completely rotten? Shut up. I've always thought the term, the world of adults, was... weird. Don't adults and kids live in the same world? Even if it's just for their own kids, shouldn't adults strive to make the world a better place? When I was younger, I thought that whole world was rotten. Trying to make people just as rotten when they grow up. I was so angry all the time. Rebellious and afraid. Afraid it would make me rotten too. What about now? Now? I know growing up and becoming rotten are two completely different things. A person is a jerk because they want to be a jerk. Right? Jerk? What does a brat like you know? You inherited a company from your father as a kid. You know nothing of the struggles normal people like us go through. I won't be able to give my daughter anything if I don't fight for it. Emmy, don't listen to her. Daddy... <sighs> Daddy will apologize to you and your mother. Let's just go home. No. Oh. Kaleida, what should I do? Y you're asking me? I told you I'm not good at that father-daughter stuff. From your expression, you're wanting to take Emmy back with you, right? 
Hey, I, I didn't say that. The proxy did. But... What do you think? I couldn't let you stay forever, but you could at least stay with me for a while until someone you trust comes to get you. You really don't have to. Just get me out of here and I'll call my mom. Hey, where do you think you're taking my daughter? Get back here! Sorry to interrupt, but my virtual pet suggests you all leave the Hollow ASAP. Defeating that ethereal has caused changes to the in-hollow environment. Negative. It is both incorrect and, indeed, absurd to refer to me as a virtual pet. I am New Eridu's strongest AI. Hypothesis. The current conversation is not an awkward time to interrupt. I have located the nearest exit for you, Master. Everyone, the hollow environment is shifting. We should get out of here. It's about time. And, uh, hey, jerk. I'll be keeping an eye on you, got it? And don't even think about pinning the responsibility onto those thugs. They bailed on you just because of some ethereals. If you're gonna keep relying on them, you'll only get burned. Excuse me, it's rude to call me a jerk in front of my daughter. <laughs> Fine. I'll report this to the association myself and await their response, whatever it may be. But, don't think you've won. Huh? Kaleda? You've actually caught two friends? Well, whatever. Give me your hand. You have to wash your hands before having snacks. Remember, wash thoroughly and scrub for at least 30 seconds. What a pain. I was gonna hold this meeting at the construction site, but then this guy was like, I don't want to go somewhere with mud everywhere. So I had to hold the meeting here. You decided to come the moment you heard there were pineapple buns. Hey, don't say it like that. I'm not some fish in a pond begging for bread. I came for intel. So what's the situation? If you're hoping to hear that my dad was punished and is at home repenting, you'll be disappointed. I'm living with my mom now, and she only just found out what was going on over there too. The Subhollow's danger rating got raised, and the school wound up getting moved to a safer area. My dad got fired. But it didn't take much time for others to come and ask him to be a principal again. Not for a public school this time, though. It seems like it's a Tops company-affiliated school. Your father's income might even improve. And that's good, right? If he can pay us the money he owes, having to move and transfer schools is expensive. So, in the end, you still transferred, huh? Yeah, I couldn't do it. I can't just face everyone and pretend like nothing ever happened. I don't have the same kind of brain my dad does. I mean, all of it was directly because of dad. If that gets out, the other kids will never look at me the same way again. And then, it won't just be me. Dan and Lisa will get bullied too. As long as I'm there, those two idiots will stand by me to the end. So, since there were already plans to transfer, I decided I might as well go with it. Emmy, I... <laughs> the day before I left, I bought all the pineapple buns from the school store. You two are Kaleida's friends too, right? <laughs> Next time, I'll have you eat with me too. Don't you think pineapple buns on their own might be a bit bland? Give us a moment, we'll go get some drinks. What do you two want? Coffee, please! Grace was gonna come, but she pulled an all-nighter yesterday. I'll bring her back some coffee, too. I want nitro fuel! Hey, if you start drinking nitro fuel at your age, it's gonna stunt your growth. I'm sorry. Huh? I just feel like... We went through all that, but in the end, 
It didn't even mean anything. Yeah, after all, my dad didn't even go to jail. <coughs> That's not what I meant. It's just... Not only did we end up making you transfer, we didn't even manage to do anything that mattered. <laughs> Is suddenly getting all sad and emotional a grown-up thing, too? I don't think what you did was meaningless. After all, me and my classmates are safe now, thanks to you. And I'll grow up, too. And I'll get stronger. And become an adult. Not an adult like my dad, but an adult like Kaleida. <sighs> you gotta become an even greater adult than I am. Got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. With my genetics, I'm gonna be at least 170 centimeters. Hey, genetics aren't as simple as you think. All right, cut it out. Huh? Our pineapple buns. Uh, <laughs> I, I didn't even realize we ate them. Compared to us, seems like pineapple buns are more important to Kaleida. Of course not! Uh, hey, don't... Uh, here, uh, half seats? If 